I would prefer not to have to go down the mine. If I could afford it, of course, I would stop, but here in Topaga, there's nothing else we can do. And if you don't dig coal, how are you going to pay for food, for clothing and school? We have to pay for the books, school uniforms and school supplies. Every day I go down, I risk my life. I'm scared because I know many who did not make it back. It's very dangerous here. The mines are not well maintained or propped up. Nothing is safe and it may collapse on your head at any time. We damage our health for just peanuts. Sometimes it makes me cry. I'm so upset that sometimes I cry. When you're down in the mine, it's your lungs that really suffer. You breathe the coal dust all the time. And we have two friends who died in the mine, and their father had forced them to go down, and part of the mine caved in, and they died suffocated. And since then, we, uh, we don't want to work down there. The accident really scared us, but we're still forced to go and do the same job. Well, really, one day something should be done to stop this gambling with our lives. Realmente, reglamento de higiene y seguridad. Well, there is in Colombia a health and safety regulation uh, which forbids employing children under 18 and women to work in the mines. But unfortunately, there are no mine police which can strictly enforce that law. The coal producers are quite happy with the situation. They take advantage of the chaotic state of the market and the fact that there are many small-scale, unregistered coal producers to buy coal from at a low price. Of course, these illegal practices shouldn't be tolerated, but shutting all the mines would risk creating a social upheaval in the sector.